I'm going to welcome to part two of uh, fixing the air system of an AT2K. That's such a crazy day today. Putting out another fire. Uh, I'd rather not discuss, but my friend uh, who calls himself Elihim Troy, uh, who actually goes, is actually another name because he works for the government, he can't really tell me who he is, I decided to engage in the noblest of noble traditions. You got it. So, we're going to work on that 2K in a second. Uh -huh. But this is ever clear. So, you should, uh, if you usually go double shot with that, you need to go one shot with that. Because if you go double, bad stuff. Bad stuff. So, here we are. pieces of R2K. We've got, we've, got, we've got this shell over here. We've got this one over here, and I'm keeping this on this side so it doesn't fall out. We have our firing mechanics. We have our tank. A lot of people leave this out. I don't. We have our, our trigger. Okay, so what we want to do is just like putting that together any old AT2K. Put your trigger through here. This through here, actually, before you do that, yeah, of course. So, okay, there's that, there's that, there's that. I just like the way that this holds the whole thing together. I know you guys probably think it's stupid, but I, uh, I like to do that. And I put the pump into there, the glue's nice and dry. I got rid of the leak. Um, if I see another problem, we kind of want to. Don't forget the trigger, Chris. How are you gonna fire this thing? Oh no! Chris, you just handed me a 2K. I can't fire. Sorry, nephew. I didn't mean to. You're eight. You can figure it out, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. It's been a tough day. It's been a tough day. Um, nothing looks majorly oxidized. That's good. Because um, I took all the water off when I when I did the leak test. Um, so put this forward right here. Put this into this spring container um, right here. Yeah, nothing big, just like that. And then put this spring over here. Uh, you a lot. Of, some people don't even put that in, but it, it does keep it from having play. So I, I like to do it. Okay. Now, we're going to put this cap here. I do actually choose to have fewer screws in this. I like to be able to take this apart when I can. I have a feeling, easy, easily, I have a feeling I'm going to be taking this apart a lot. So, I'd rather be able to do it really easily. I know, it sounds dumb, but, you know. My friend Kyle, he was really big on, on fewer screws and blasters. It's just too many screws and blasters. Like that's one of his his theories in in, in Nerf mod, and it's a not a, it's not a bad theory. I don't necessarily agree with it. I agree with it in some cases. Let's say some of my pistols, whatever. Well, actually, usually my pistols usually take as many screws as possible to hold in the stresses I put in. You know, on the back of the tank, I have uh, oh, the, what looks like the tank, but isn't actually a tank. I've, I uh, put in both screws there. Now the goo gauge right here is it, 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 it's completely hollow on the inside, but the rubber thing is is in there, and it is it is back sealed with go to glue. So um, so yeah, this thing is this thing is nice now. B3s. Doesn't sound like it's leaking at all. Um, okay. Oh, 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 oh. 
That just kills, man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I recommend no more than seven on an AK2K. Now, the V3 Explorer Arts are, are much heavier. Must be the only guy in the world with a 2K who shoots Explorer Darts, no. <laughs> I really think that's probably correct. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, guys, take a look. Oh, 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 oh so much power. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> that's, that's what you do. That's what you do. You just, um, you, um, you put it together. You gotta do another leak test, you're doing that leak test, uh, you gotta take it out again, you take it out again. Now, I just did like three fires. I want to uh, probably let the glue completely set in here overnight. So I don't want to go right to battle with this. I probably want to put this on my shelf of uh, goodies. Let it sit overnight, fire it again. It's really cool. Yeah, I really like it. Really like it. No play in the barrel. The barrel doesn't wobble at all because I have this base plate. The first one I made, I just tied a piece of 1732nd straight to an AT2K tank, and I had no reinforcement on it. I had, I didn't have a coupler, and I didn't use this base plate because I didn't have one. I got one given away to me at Armageddon. It was a green one. I still have the tank and everything, except for the pump went went out. The check valve and the pump went out. So. Uh, all the other parts for it are there, so I'm gonna probably use this as a spare for this thing. Good show, good show. Alright, take care. Woohoo!